Today we solve few problems in mechanics using Lagrangian method. We have seen the Lagrangian equation, uh, how to form the Lagrangian. Lagrangian we know it is kinetic energy minus potential energy and if we use it in the Lagrangian equation, we can uh, have the equation of motion for the system. So here we see uh, we find the equation of motion of a spring mass system. Okay, so here we see a spring which is attached to a mass m and uh, if you disturb the mass, if you pull it and release. We know this will be, it will be oscillating like this. You can take this as the x-axis. So the mass or the particle that will be moving in the x-direction, oscillating in the x-direction. So uh, we have to use the Lagrangian method to find the equation of motion and by solving it we have to obtain the time period of the motion. Okay. So this is a case of linear harmonic oscillator. The x direction that is the x coordinate and the Lagrangian equation is this d by dt of dou L dou x dot minus dou L dou x equal to 0. There is one independent coordinate the mass or the particle is moving in x direction, y equal to 0, z equal to 0. So these are the constraint equations. So we have only one generalized coordinate and that is x. So we have uh, d by dt of dou L dou x dot minus dou L dou x equal to 0. The kinetic energy that is given by half mv square that is half m x dot square v that is dx by dt dx by dt that is x dot okay x dot so uh, we have half m v square which is half m x dot square and the potential energy is half k x square so Lagrangian t minus v that is half m x dot square minus half k x square. So this is the Lagrangian. Okay, now to obtain the equation of motion, we use this. So dou L dou x dot, we have to find dou L dou x dot. That is given by m x dot. If we differentiate this with respect to x dot, we will get m x dot. And dou L dou x that is minus kx dou l dou x is minus kx so uh, that is the dou l dou x and dou l dou x dot and uh, here we take the d by dt of d by dt of dou l dou x dot minus dou l dou x so we have this Uh, d by dt of mx dot plus kx equal to 0, which will be mx double dot plus kx equal to 0. And from this we, we will get x double dot plus k by mx equal to 0. And if, if I put k by mx equal to omega square, we have x dot x double dot plus omega square x equal to 0, omega equal to root k by m t equal to 2 pi by omega, we know omega is root k by m, t is 2 pi by omega, so this is 2 pi root m by k. So this is the period t, t equal to 2 pi by omega, which is 2 pi root m by k. So this is the period, okay. Then uh, uh, we see we see the second problem, obtain the equation of motion of a simple pendulum 
using Lagrangian method and hence deduce the formula for its time period for small amplitude oscillations. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Simple pendulum that we are solving using Lagrangian method. So here we can see simple pendulum. Oh, this is the bulb of the pendulum that is attached to this fixed end C. The length of the pendulum is L. It uh, oscillates, as it oscillates, uh, it can, at some instant, it might be here, at the position A. Okay, and the O is the equilibrium position. And theta, we know, that is the angular displacement of the simple pendulum from the equilibrium position. Okay, so when the bulb is at A, it is making an angle, the string is making an angle theta with respect to vertical and it is the angular displacement. And we have this theta equal to arc by radius, this arc is S, radius is L, arc by radius theta. Okay, so S, the arc length S, that is L theta, V is ds dt, ds by dt as uh, how the length is changing with respect to time, velocity that is L theta dot. So kinetic energy is half mv square that is half mv is L theta dot, is L theta dot. So this is half m L square theta dot square that is the kinetic energy. Okay, so half mv square that is half m l square, v is this l theta dot, so half m l square theta dot square. Now we assume that when the bulb is at the equilibrium position, the potential energy is zero, the potential energy of the bulb is zero. Okay, now as it oscillates and reaches this position A, it is at a, you know, height OB with respect to this position. So the potential energy corresponding to that point A, that is given by that is given by uh, MgOB, that is MgOC minus BC. What is OC? OC, this is OC and this is uh, BC, OC minus uh, BC, that is OB. Okay, so this is OC minus BC, that is MG, L minus L cos theta, so MG L into 1 minus cos theta. So this is the potential energy. So L is T minus V, L T is half M L square theta dot square that we have seen minus mgl into 1 minus cos theta. So we have got the Lagrangian. So this is our Lagrangian, Lagrangian for the simple pendulum. Okay, and do L by do theta uh, is this minus mgl sin theta, do L by do theta. Do L do theta dot is ml square theta dot. We have do L do theta dot and do L do theta. We substitute here d by dt of do L do theta dot minus do L do theta. This is d by dt of m L square theta dot plus m g L sine theta. Okay, we substitute here do L do theta and we have this m L square theta double dot plus m g L sine theta equal to zero and uh, we arrive at this expression theta double dot plus g by l sin theta equal to zero because m is common l square we divide and their equation by l square so we will get mg oh, sorry g by l sin theta equal to zero then for small amplitude oscillations Okay, the angular displacement is small, sine theta is theta. So we have theta double dot plus g by L 
theta equal to 0, here omega square is g by l and omega is root g by l and uh, t equal to 2 pi by omega, this relation, so 2 pi omega is root g by l, so we have 2 pi root l by g. So this is the, uh, what is it, the time period of uh, the symbol pendulum, t equal to 2 pi root l by g. Okay, we already know this result, we have obtained this result using uh, the equations in Newtonian mechanics. Okay, the same result we are getting when we use the Lagrangian method where we work with scalars like kinetic energy and potential energy. Newtonian mechanics we work with vectors, okay, and uh, working with scalars is uh, more convenient than working with vectors because we need not consider the directions. Okay. Now the third one, at Wood's machine, obtain the equation of motion of a system of two masses, M1, M2, which are connected by an inextensible string, passing over a small, smooth pulley. Okay, inextensible string, this is passing over a smooth pulley. Uh, this is the Atwood's machine, this setup, two masses connected by a string passing over a pulley, depending upon the masses M1 and M2, um, M1 may be moving up and M2 moving down, or M1 moving down or M2 moving up, so that may, that might happen. The X is the distance from the top of the pulley and since the total length is L, Okay, the total length from this point to this point is L, this distance will be L minus X. So that X plus L minus X is L. Okay, inextensible string. So X is a variable vertical distance from pulley to the mass M1 and it is taken as the uh, generalized coordinate. M2 will be at L minus X from the pulley. Okay, so V1 is uh, uh, dx by dt, that is uh, x dot and v2, v1 is the velocity of the mass m1 and v2 is the velocity of the mass m2, that is d by dt by minus x, which is minus x dot and t is half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square, the total kinetic energy, which is half m1 x dot, x dot square half m2 x dot square, this is half m1 plus m2 x dot square. So this is the total kinetic energy. What about the potential energy? We take uh, the potential energy uh, of the masses as zero at uh, this point here on the pulley. So here V is taken as zero. Below this the potential is negative. Okay. So with respect to the pulley, we are taking the potential. Here we take the potential as equal to zero. So below here, it will be negative. So potential of mass M1, that will be minus M1 G X. And potential of mass M2 will be minus M2 G L minus X. Okay, so that we put here uh, the potential of uh, the first one is minus m1 g x, okay, it's not x dot, it's x, and uh, potential energy of the second mass is minus m2 g l minus x, l is t minus v, okay, so we have this uh, um, kinetic energy and minus potential energy, so this is our Lagrangian, okay, this is the Lagrangian. Kinetic energy plus potential energy, kinetic energy minus potential energy. Doyle dou x dot we find, that is m1 plus m2 x dot. Doyle dou x, that will be m1 g minus m2 g. Okay, m1 g minus m2 g. Doyle dou x, we differentiate this with respect to x. Here we will get m1 g. Here as we differentiate, we will be getting minus m2 g. Now the generalized uh, coordinate is x, 
we have this d by dt of dou L dou x dot minus dou L dou x equal to 0. So this is m1 plus m2 x double dot minus m1 minus m2 g equal to 0. Okay, as we substitute here. So we will finally get x double dot as equal to m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 g. Okay, m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 g. And this is the equation of motion. This is the equation of motion of the uh, masses. So depending upon the uh, masses m1 and m2, um, you know, if m1 is equal to m2, this will be x double dot is equal to 0, acceleration equal to 0, the two masses will be at rest. But if their masses are different, m1 greater than m2, x double dot acceleration will be positive and uh, the masses will be moving. Okay, m1 greater than m2, m1 will be coming downwards, coming down. Okay, so depending upon the masses, uh, x double dot changes and uh, we will have the motion of the two masses. So uh, that's the uh, Atwood's machine. The next one, we, what we see is Lagrange's equation for electrical circuit consisting of uh, an inductance L, capacitance C and resistance R. Okay, so we have the inductor L, capacitor C, resistor R, this it is connected to a battery. Okay, um, here the, this is not a mechanical system, this is an electrical system, LCR circuit, it's an electrical system, an electrical circuit. The kinetic energy half mv square in mechanical system, here it is half Li square, the magnetic energy of the inductor. Okay, then the electrical potential energy of the circuit that is Q square by 2C. This is the electrical potential energy of the circuit. Okay, so the magnetic energy and the electrical uh, potential energy. Magnetic energy is the kinetic energy. Okay, kinetic energy, which is of L I square and potential energy is Q square by 2C. So L is T minus V, which is of L I square minus Q square by 2C, the Lagrangian. T minus V, kinetic energy minus potential energy. Kinetic energy is the magnetic energy of the inductor, potential energy is the potential uh, energy of the capacitor which is Q square by 2C that we substitute uh, and uh, we have Lagrangian as of L Q dot square because I is current is dQ by dt, I is dQ by dt which is Q dot of L Q dot square minus Q square by 2C now, uh, this is the Lagrange's equation, taking Q, here Q is the charge, okay, that is taken as the generalized coordinate, the charge is taken as the generalized coordinate. So generalized coordinate can be anything, it can be mass, it can be charge, okay. So Q here is the charge, so d by dt of dial dou Q dot minus dial dou Q equal to zero, we find dou L dou Q dot, we find dou L dou Q. And what is dou L dou Q dot? That is given by L Q dot. Dou L dou Q is minus Q by C. We just differentiate this with respect to Q dot, we will have L Q dot. And Q, we have, we have minus, you know, Q by C, which is this. And we substitute here, and we have this, so d square q by dt square plus 1 by lc q is equal to 0, omega square is 1 by lc, omega is 1 over root lc t equal to 2 pi by omega, which is 2 pi, omega is 1 over root lc, so this is 2 pi root lc, 
So this is our t and frequency we know that is 1 or upon t so that is 1 by 2 pi root lc. So this is the frequency. Okay, so we have found the frequency of the oscillations in the uh, circuit. This is, this is actually symbol harmonic oscillation taking place in the circuit due to the capacitor and the inductor there will be oscillations in the electrical oscillations in the circuit and this is the frequency of that uh, oscillation 1 by 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi root lc. 